All right, guys, I've got some BMW news for you guys. So BMW just released the facelifted 8 Series for the 2023 model year. So I'm going to take you guys through the product bulletin for the new M850i Coupe, Grand Coupe, and Convertible, the full M8 Coupe, Grand Coupe, and Convertible, as well as the new Alpina B8. All of these are going to be the facelift. So we got new grills. We got different features and everything like that. Larger infotainment screen. Let me take you through the product bulletin for the 2023 LCI 8 Series. So let's get into the product bulletin. First picture kind of gives you a hint of what this LCI is going to be for. Second part of that page, it's going to be for the 8 Series, the M8 and the Alpina B8 range for the LCI. So that's going to include the M850 Coupe, Cabriolet and Grand Coupe, and the full M8 Competition Coupe, Cabriolet and Grand Coupe. All right, so on the second page, BMW is going to give an overview of what we are changing for the LCI. So for the first time, the M850 models are now coming standard with the redesigned and illuminated kidney grill. Previously, this was only available as an option on the X6. Now it's going to be standard on all the M850 models, as well as the BMW M mirror caps, which were currently an option on the M8, are now standard for the LCI. We're also getting a larger infotainment touchscreen going from 10 inches up to 12.3 inches. We're also getting three additional wheel options for the M850 and the M8, and we're also getting new paint options. Skyscraper Gray, Portimao Blue, San Remo Green, Tanzanite Blue, Isles of Man Green, Brooklyn Gray, Frozen Pure Gray, and Frozen Tanzanite Blue. So Frozen Tanzanite Blue is a new color that I have not seen yet. The rest of them are just pulled over from a lot of the 3 and 4 series models. The M8 for the first time now has the carbon fiber bucket seats available, which first launched on the M3 and the M4, now available on the M8, which is incredible. Shadowline and line featuring the dark inserts are now available for the first time on the M850, the M8 Competition, and the Alpina B8. As far as that 50-year celebration for BMW M, the 8 Series and the M models now available to the special emblem. So no charge on the M8 Competition and only $300 on the M850. Looks like all the power ratings for the engines have stayed the same with the uh, M850 getting 523 horsepower, M8 getting 617, and the Alpina V8 having 612 horsepower. All right, on the next slide, we're going to talk about the changes from the 22 model year to the 23. Surprisingly, there actually wasn't a price increase. There was technically a price decrease. While it did stay at the same base MSRP, they included the parking assistant and the surround view system, which is usually about a $1,000 package, is now part of that standard's features. Now, your premium package did decrease by $750, but you're also losing display key, laser light headlights, and, of course, that parking assistant that now became standard functions. And we have this new dark optics package, which is the black M Sport brakes, shadow line headlights, laser light headlights, high gloss of black exterior and M performance package. And we have some standalone option charges with these three new wheels coming in, as well as looks like we lost a few wheel charge options. Continuing in the standalone options, it looks like universal garage door opener is no longer a standard feature and it's now a $300 charge. You have the new emblems as well as the tri trims on the inside have been increased. So carbon fiber trim is now $500 more expensive. Wood trims are $250 more expensive, as well as laser lights are now an individual option instead of part of that package. And your Alcantara roof liner has also increased in price instead of being a no charge option. And you get into some paints. There was some removed paints like Barcelona Blue. That is no longer available. Frozen Bluestone Blue and just normal Bluestone Blue are not all available. And then highlighting the new colors that are available. All right, now let's talk about some changes on the M8 Competition. Looks like Universal Garage Door Opener and Display Key are no longer standard equipment, but the Parking Assistant with Surround View is standard equipment, same with the Driver Quarter. Looks like pretty much similar to the M850 where it got pulled out of that premium package, got moved into a standard, and some things in the premium package like the Laser Light Headlights, the Parking Assistant, and looks like the Driver Quarter as well all got pulled out of the premium package and are now either that standard feature or are gonna be optional features. Then we have the new Dark Optics package as well, the same things that the M850 had. An advanced driver's assistance package looks like it was removed from the Alpina B8. Scrolling down, looks like we have increase of price for all these optional options, including the carbon ceramic brakes they are now $1,400 more than they were last year. The M carbon bucket seats, if you want them, are $6,500 option. Looks like there's just an increase of price as well as a take a loan on standard equipment. So Bowers and Wilkins can no longer be added in as an individual. Night Pedestrian, as well as the Advanced Driver Assistance Package, have both been deactivated across the board as well. And the Alcantara roof liner is now a $500 charge. And then we start getting into some paint options. Same as the M850, we have some new paints and we have some removed paints. Amaterine Metallic is no longer available on top of the Barcelona. And then Matogi, Mategi Red Metallic is no longer available. And we do have those new colors I talked about earlier.
So let's talk about some visuals of the LCI. Main thing is going to be this new grille on the MA50 that are now standard illuminated, as well as subtle front, lower front bumper changes. Overall, same shape, but the in, inner contents of the bumper have been changed significantly from last year's model. Carbon fiber M mirror caps are now a standard feature on the M850. I've noticed this on the M240i, the M440 Grand Coupe, the X3 M40i, and the X4 M40i are now getting the M mirror caps. M850 takes it one step above, and you get the M mirror caps in carbon fiber instead of normal plastic. And feast your eyes on the new wheel options. So we have 895 in bicolor for the M850. We also have them with the performance either top run flats or non-run flats. Then we have the 894Ms in bicolor and the 813M bicolor black and gray only on the M8 competition. So we have some fresh wheels from the new LCI 8 series. On the inside, the biggest difference is going to be that infotainment screen. So much larger from the 10.25 inch, now all the way up to 12.3 absolutely massive infotainment screen on the inside exclusive to the m8 competition is the m carbon fiber bucket seats these things are wicked looking nicely finished in the ivory merino leather for 6500 dollars just can't go wrong with this new addition to the m8 competition taking a look at the new dark optics package available for the m850 and the b8 you have the black wheels the shadow line headlights high gloss black exterior content with the kidney grill the tailpipes and the air vents on the side then you have the new traditional old school BMW roundels that are now available on the M850 and the M8 competition. So all these 2023 models are going to commence production in March of 2022. So the factory is moving over as of March, 2023 models will be made. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys appreciate this content. If you did, make sure you smash the like button down at the bottom. Consider subscribing for more future BMW news. Don't forget my giveaways and I'll see you next time.